Deep beneath the Earth's ancient mountain belts, where pressure and heat shaped the very bones of our planet, veins of gold formed millions of years ago, hidden within the heart of stone. These are the mesothermal gold deposits, the silent witnesses of Earth's most powerful geological forces. What is mesothermal gold deposit? A mesothermal gold deposit is a type of gold deposit that forms at moderate depths and temperatures within the Earth's crust, typically between 5 to 10 kilometers deep and at temperatures ranging from 250 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. These deposits are part of a broader classification known as orogenic gold deposits, which are linked to major mountain building, orogenic, events. The word mesothermal means, middle temperature, reflecting the intermediate conditions under which these gold deposits form, between shallow, low-temperature epithermal deposits and deep, high-temperature hypothermal deposits. Formation Environment Mesothermal gold deposits form primarily in active continental margins and collisional mountain belts, where intense deformation, metamorphism, and fluid circulation occur. They are commonly associated with regional fault zones, shear zones, and fracture systems that act as pathways for hydrothermal fluids. These fluids originate from metamorphic processes, as rocks are buried and heated during mountain building, water and carbon dioxide are released, creating hot, metal-rich fluids that migrate through cracks in the crust. As these fluids move upward, they experience a drop in temperature, pressure, and sometimes a change in chemical composition. When these conditions change, gold and other minerals precipitate from the fluid, forming veins and lodes. Host Rocks and Structures Mesothermal deposits are usually found in metamorphic terrains, particularly within greenstone belts, ancient volcanic sedimentary sequences, and granite intrusions. The gold is commonly hosted in quartz veins within shear zones or fault zones. Typical host rocks include basalt, andesite, and rhyolite, volcanic rocks, greywack, shale, and chert, sedimentary rocks, schist and gneiss, metamorphic rocks, mineralogy. The gold in mesothermal deposits is typically freemilling, native gold, and occurs with sulfide minerals, such as pyrite, arsenopyrite, chalcopyrite, galena, sphalerite. Quartz is the dominant gang, non-valuable, mineral, often accompanied by carbonate, chlorite, and sericite alteration minerals around the veins. Geochemical Characteristics Mesothermal deposits are characterized by Gold arsenic association Moderate sulfidation state CO2-rich fluids with low salinity Stable isotopic signatures indicating metamorphic or mixed fluid sources These geochemical traits help geologists distinguish mesothermal gold deposits from other types, such as epithermal or intrusion-related deposits. Economic Importance Mesothermal, or orogenic, gold deposits are among the world's most significant sources of gold. They often form large, high-grade or bodies that can extend several kilometers in depth. Major gold-producing regions with mesothermal deposits include The Mother Lode Belt, California, USA The Abitibi Greenstone Belt, Canada The Yilgarn Craton, Western Australia the Kopval Kraton, South Africa. Summary In summary, mesothermal gold deposits form at moderate crustal depths under intermediate temperatures and pressures within active tectonic settings. They are typically controlled by fault and shear zones, contain quartz veins with gold and sulfides, and are derived from metamorphic hydrothermal fluids. These deposits are geologically complex but extremely valuable, representing some of the richest and most extensive gold sources on Earth. Formation of Mesothermal Gold Deposits The formation of mesothermal gold deposits is a complex geological process that occurs deep within the Earth's crust, typically between 5 and 10 kilometers below the surface, under moderate temperatures and pressures. These deposits are usually associated with orogenic belts, regions of intense mountain building caused by continental collision and plate convergence. Their origin involves the interaction of tectonic forces, metamorphic processes, and hydrothermal fluid flow, 
which together create favorable conditions for gold to become concentrated and deposited. 1. Tectonic Setting and Geological Background Mesothermal gold deposits are most commonly found in regions that have undergone orogenic activity, such as the collision zones between continental plates or along ancient subduction margins. These regions experience Crustal thickening and deformation Regional metamorphism Development of major fault and shear zones During mountain building, the crust becomes fractured and sheared, creating extensive networks of faults, fractures, and cracks. These structures act as conduits for hydrothermal fluids that transport and eventually deposit gold. Typical tectonic environments include Accretionary and collisional origins Greenstone belts Fold and thrust belts Metamorphic terrains adjacent to granitoid intrusions 2. Source of fluids and metals the hydrothermal fluids responsible for gold deposition in mesothermal systems mainly originate from metamorphic dehydration reactions. As sedimentary and volcanic rocks are buried and heated during orogeny, they release water and carbon dioxide. These fluids become enriched in dissolved metals such as gold AU, silver AG, arsenic AS, and sulfur S. Possible fluid sources include Metamorphic fluids derived from devolatilization of deeply buried crustal rocks. Magmatic fluids released from cooling intrusive bodies, in some cases. Basinal fluids migrating through the crust along regional faults. In most mesothermal systems, isotopic and chemical studies indicate a dominantly metamorphic origin for the fluids, characterized by low salinity and high CO2 content. 3. Migration of hydrothermal fluids. Once generated, the hot, pressurized fluids begin to migrate upward through the crust, moving along faults, fractures, and shear zones. These structures serve as permeable pathways, allowing the fluids to ascend toward shallower levels where pressure and temperature gradually decrease. Fluid movement is typically episodic and pulsed, driven by repeated cycles of fault movement, fracturing, and sealing. Each episode releases a new pulse of gold-bearing fluid into open spaces, fractures, or existing vein systems. This process can continue over millions of years, gradually building up large, vein-type gold deposits. 4. Deposition of gold and associated minerals. As the hydrothermal fluids ascend, several physical and chemical changes occur that trigger the precipitation of gold. Decrease in pressure and temperature. When fluids move into shallower crustal levels, the reduction in pressure and temperature reduces the solubility of gold complexes. Fluid mixing. If the ascending metamorphic fluid mixes with cooler meteoric or magmatic water, its chemistry changes rapidly, causing gold to precipitate. Wallrock interaction. Reactions between the fluid and surrounding rocks, especially carbonates or iron-rich rocks, can change fluid pH and redox conditions, also inducing gold precipitation. Boiling or degassing. Loss of CO2 or H2S gases can destabilize the gold-sulfur complexes, resulting in the deposition of native gold. The gold usually precipitates in quartz carbonate veins, often accompanied by sulfide minerals such as pyrite, arsenopyrite, chalcopyrite, and galena. In some cases, Gold occurs as invisible microscopic inclusions within sulfides, while in others it forms visible grains and nuggets within the quartz. 5. Structural and Textural Features Mesothermal deposits are strongly controlled by structural geology. The orientation and geometry of veins and or bodies are determined by Shear zones Fold hinges Fault intersections Dilational jogs or bends along major faults. Veins may appear as Banded quartz veins Stockwork zones Breccia zones Disseminated sulfide mineralization The vein textures, such as comb quartz, ribbon quartz, and crack seal veins, record multiple episodes of fluid flow and mineral precipitation, reflecting the dynamic tectonic environment in which the deposit formed. 6. Postformation Processes 
After their initial formation, mesothermal gold deposits may undergo metamorphic overprinting, erosion, or supergene enrichment near the surface. Erosion can expose the veins and release gold particles, which may then form secondary placer deposits in nearby riverbeds. Conclusion The formation of mesothermal gold deposits is a multi-stage process involving deep crustal fluid generation, tectonic fracturing, and hydrothermal mineral deposition. These deposits represent one of the most economically important types of gold mineralization on Earth, often forming large and high-grade ore bodies that can persist over significant vertical and lateral extents. Their study provides valuable insight into crustal fluid flow, tectonic evolution, and the dynamic geological processes that shape the planet's mineral wealth. Types of Mesothermal Gold Deposits Mesothermal gold deposits, often referred to as orogenic gold deposits, represent one of the most important and widespread forms of primary gold mineralization on Earth. They occur within ancient and modern mountain belts that form through tectonic collisions, subduction, and continental accretion. Although they share common features, such as formation depth, temperature range, and structural control, mesothermal deposits display a wide variety of geological settings, host rocks, and mineral assemblages. To better understand them, geologists have classified mesothermal gold deposits into several main types based on their host rock environment, structural setting, and genetic characteristics. 1. Greenstone-hosted quartz carbonate vein deposits. This is the most common and economically important type of mesothermal gold deposit. These deposits are found mainly within Archean and Proterozoic greenstone belts, which are ancient volcanic sedimentary terrains that have undergone regional metamorphism. Geological setting Found in deformed volcanic and sedimentary sequences, basalt, andesite, greywack, shale. Associated with major shear zones and fault corridors formed during regional compressional tectonics. Commonly found near basalt, sediment contacts or within sheared ultramafic rocks. Formation process. Gold-bearing hydrothermal fluids migrate through faults and fractures, depositing quartz, carbonate veins filled with gold and sulfides. The precipitation occurs when the fluids experience changes in pressure, temperature, and chemistry as they interact with wall rocks. Mineralogy Native gold, electrum Pyrite, arsenopyrite, chalcopyrite, galena Quartz, anchorite, calcite, chlorite, and sericite as gang minerals. Examples Kalgoorlie and Cambalda, Yilgarn Craton, Australia Timmins and Kirkland Lake, Abitibi Belt, Canada. Kohler Gold Field, India. Ashanti Belt, West Africa. These deposits are typically large, high-grade, and can extend for several kilometers both vertically and horizontally. 2. Banded Iron Formation, BAF, Hosted Mesothermal Deposits. In this subtype, gold mineralization occurs within or adjacent to banded iron formations, a type of chemical sedimentary rock composed of alternating iron-rich and silica-rich layers. Geological setting Formed in metamorphosed volcanic sedimentary sequences. Gold is often concentrated in fold hinges, shear zones, or faults that cut through the BIF units. Formation process Hydrothermal fluids migrate through fractures in the iron formation. When they react with the iron oxides, such as magnetite and hematite, they change the redox conditions, causing gold to precipitate along with sulfides like pyrite and arsenopyrite. Mineralogy Gold, pyrite, arsenopyrite, pyrotite. Quartz, grunerite, carbonate, and chlorite alteration minerals. Examples Homestake Mine, South Dakota, USA. Marila and Siama, Mali, West Africa. Lake Victoria Goldfields, Tanzania. These deposits are often structurally controlled and can host significant tonnages of ore, making them attractive targets for exploration. 3. Turbidite hosted, slate belt, mesothermal deposits. This type of deposit occurs within metamorphosed sedimentary rocks, particularly greywack, shale, and slate sequences known as turbidites. 
These rocks were originally deposited in deep marine environments and later deformed and metamorphosed during orogeny. Geological setting Found in fold thrust belts or accretionary origins. Gold is localized along shear zones, fault intersections, or fold hinges within fine grained sedimentary rocks. Formation process During crustal deformation, metamorphic fluids rise along shear zones. Gold precipitates when these fluids interact with carbonaceous or iron rich sediments, which act as chemical traps. Mineralogy Gold, often finely disseminated or vein hosted. Pyrite, arsenopyrite, pyrotite, stibnite. Quartz, carbonate, chlorite, sericite, and graphite. Examples Bendigo and Ballarat, Victoria, Australia. Meguma Terrain, Nova Scotia, Canada. Otago Schist Belt, New Zealand. These deposits are often low to medium grade, but they can occur in large tonnages, making them suitable for bulk mining. For ultramafic hosted, serpentinite associated, mesothermal deposits. In some regions, mesothermal gold deposits are associated with ultramafic rocks that have been altered to serpentinite. These rocks are rich in magnesium and iron and can strongly interact with hydrothermal fluids. Geological setting Found along major transcrustal shear zones cutting through comodiites, peridotites, or serpentinites. Common in greenstone belts with extensive ultramafic sequences. Formation process the interaction between CO2-rich hydrothermal fluids and magnesium-rich host rocks produces extensive carbonate alteration, anchorite, dolomite, magnesite. Gold is deposited along with quartz and sulfides during these reactions. Mineralogy Gold, arsenopyrite, pyrite, magnetite, chromite. Quartz, anchorite, fuchsite, talc, and serpentine. Examples Mother Load Belt, California, USA. Kohler and Huddy, India. Noranda and Val d'Or, Canada. These deposits often form narrow, high-grade quartz veins, and they can host exceptionally rich gold zones. 5. Granitoid-related mesothermal deposits. Although mesothermal deposits are typically linked to metamorphic processes, some are found within or near granitic intrusions, suggesting a possible magmatic component. Geological setting Located in metamorphic terrains intruded by granites. Mineralization occurs in shear zones, fracture networks, or contact aureoles around intrusions. Formation process Gold-bearing fluids may be derived from cooling granitic magmas or metamorphic devolatilization caused by nearby intrusions. The fluids move through faults and fractures, depositing quartz and gold as they cool and react with the host rocks. Mineralogy Gold, arsenopyrite, pyrite, shalite, in some tungsten-bearing systems. Quartz, carbonate, muscovite, and tourmalin. Examples Moranto Deposit, Uzbekistan. Tejas Deposit, Mauritania. Kori Kahlo, Bolivia. These systems may show characteristics that overlap with intrusion-related gold systems, but their depth and fluid chemistry align with the mesothermal range. 6. Polymetallic or sulfide-rich mesothermal deposits. In some cases, mesothermal gold deposits contain significant concentrations of other metals, such as copper, lead, zinc, silver, or antimony. These are sometimes transitional between mesothermal and deeper hypothermal systems. Geological setting Found in deep fault zones or contact zones between different lithologies. May occur in volcanic arcs or metamorphic belts with complex fluid evolution histories. Mineralogy Gold, silver, chalcopyrite, galena, sphalerite, stibnite. Quartz, calcite, dolomite, chlorite, and sericite. Economic importance. These deposits can be mined for multiple metals, and gold is often a byproduct. Their complex mineralogy provides valuable information about the fluid chemistry and evolution of orogenic systems.